Hi everyone, it's Gina with Creative Clinic Center. I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you as always, and I can't wait till we're together again. Um, but until then, let's do this really cool summer tropical painting. So you'll need two brushes, like a flat one and a little detail brush. This is the one I call my detail brush. This is my flat one, it's a little bigger. And you'll need your cup of water to wash your brushes out. You'll need a, nap, a napkin to dry it off and you're gonna need paint. Now this, this time we have a rainbow of colors. We have white, yellow, orange, like a pink, it's a magenta color. We have black, blue, and brown. So we have a lot going on here to make all these colors. So uh, again, I'm going to tell you guys when to pause. If you need to pause and take your time, you can pause any time that you want. And we're just gonna get started here. You see we have the sand. I'll bring it a little closer to you. See that? We have the sand, we have the ocean with some white little waves and some white uh, reflection of the sun. So we have the sun here. We have some really light yellow that starts to go into some orange and then into some more pink kind of color and all the way to pink up in the top. Like I said, it's magenta, it's a little darker pink. Then we have some black uh, silhouetted mountains in the background and some silhouetted black palm trees. So we're always gonna, well, we're gonna start here at the bottom here where the sand is. And we're just gonna work our way up this painting and then we'll put the palm trees and the mountains in very last. Okay, so let's get started. Let's put the sand in. Now the sand is a very light brown color so I'm going to take white and brown to make tan. So I took my white and my brown together and made tan. And I'm going to make the sand at the bottom of my canvas. So I start way at the very bottom. I'm only going up an inch or so. So she should have something like this. Okay, so that's your sand. If you go up a little higher, a little lower, that's okay, no big deal. Okay, so now let's wash this big brush out. By the way, I was using, if I didn't tell you, I'm sorry, I was using the big brush to make that sand. And we're gonna wash it out and dry it off really good. And I need to get my napkin. Okay, so let's take our cup. I kind of, like, like I'm painting at the bottom of the cup. I can feel the bottom of the cup. It loosens up all that paint. And then we're gonna squeeze that paint out of there. Yeah, squeeze all the water out of there. Okay, so now we have a clean brush again. And you don't want to use your tiny, tiny brush because it'll take forever to paint that. So you'll make sure you have this big brush, the flat one. Now I'm going to make the water. And if you need to pause at any time, if you want to take time to do that, go ahead and pause. And when you're done, we'll come back. So now we can do our water. Our water is a blue color, but this is a little too dark a blue for me. I'm gonna add a little white to it. So I'm gonna grab some white and I'm gonna scoop up a little blue. And I like to have fun. If you know me, if you've worked with me before, I like to sometimes put two colors on, we see that's starting to drip. I like to put two colors on my brush. So I got white and blue and I like to blend it on the canvas. This way you get a streaky effect. See that almost looks like water waves highlights in there so you're streaking the blue and the white which is really cool and get some more i'm dipping into the white dipping into the blue see i have both on my on my brush and 
And we're just going to paint and I'm going <clears> to <throat> go all the way down to the sand. I'm kind of overlap the sand just a little bit. So I don't have a white, I don't see the white of my canvas here. Again, I loaded up some more blue and white. And that's my water right there. I'll get my edges a little bit. I see some white canvas there. So you should look something like this right now. If you want to pause for a second and get that water in, this would be a good time to do that. Okay, now I have my sand, it's a light brown. I have my water, which is like a light blue. And I wanna get all that blue out of my brush now. I'm gonna wash it really good because I'm gonna do the yellow sky and I don't wanna have any blue in there. So I'm going to rinse it out good. I'm going to squeeze that water out of my brush squeeze it out of there. Now we want to have a very light yellow background because we're just going to be working on the sky, the yellow, light yellow sky in the background. So I'm going to take, because this yellow might be a little too yellow for me, so I want to dip into my white, find some white, try not to run into the blue. <laughs> Grab a little bit of yellow. So you should have a light yellow. So I did some white and some yellow just to lighten up my yellow, put a little white in it. And now I'm just gonna paint the sky. Get more paint. And if you, if you seem like you're not covering the canvas very well with paint, that means you just don't have enough paint on your brush. So you wanna make sure you get enough paint on there. You don't wanna just dip a tiny bit, load it up. and then it'll glide nice and smooth. And if you need more paint or more white, um, have your uh, assistant help you get that. Okay, now I have some light yellow on my sky, just about as far as I go up. that I just have a band of yellow so you have light brown light blue or kind of a sea blue there uh, and you have yellow now it's going to start getting more orangey as we go up so if you can see here we go from light yellow and then we're starting to get more of an orange getting more orangey as we're going up. So light yellow, orange, and then we'll start adding some magenta pink. But right now we're just gonna start putting a little bit of orange in there. So you see I have my yellow and my orange. I grab some yellow, a lot, and I'm gonna dip into that orange just a bit. So I, now I have a glob of yellow and a glob of orange on my brush. And I'm just gonna have fun and go back and forth. And it's so much easier when you have more paint on your brush. It glides and blends so much easier. Now I want this to kind of blend into my yellow here. So I don't want it to be a really hard line like I have here. So I'm just going to pick up some yellow. Kind of go right over that a bit just to soften it and bring it down just a little bit. Just kind of soften that line where the orange and the yellow meet. And all I did was just blend a little yellow over that line. That makes it softer. And if you need to pause, you can pause at any time. You might need to catch up right here. So now let's add an even more orange. I'm not even gonna use the yellow anymore. I'm just gonna go straight orange. I'm not even washing my brush out, by the way, as I go. I'll let you know as I wash the brush out. So if I don't say wash your brush out, don't worry about it. 
we're just gonna add some orange, straight orange. I'm not washing my brush out or anything. And I, now I'm gonna put another stripe of orange. And I kind of go down into what I did before, just kind of so it starts to blend together. Kind of move down just a little bit so I can blend into what I had before, just a little bit. Now I want to add, I'm gonna mix some orange for my next layer or band of color. I'm gonna add some orange like I had before and a little bit of pink. So you see my orange and my pink? So I scooped up my orange and I scooped up some pink. Now I have that on my uh, brush. And my next layer is gonna be an orangey pink look. Again, I kind of go down just a little bit farther over, kind of overlap what I did just a bit. So I don't have a white, so you can't see the white of the canvas. I just kind of overlapped a bit. And I, now I have like this orangey pink color. If you need to pause, you can pause. So now I'm just gonna use the pink only, or I should call it magenta, because that's really what it's called, magenta. And I'm just gonna grab the magenta only. I'm not washing my brush out, but I'm scooping up only the pink. It's okay if you have a little bit of that color, uh, the, old, the uh, orange on there too, it's okay. But for right now for this, even if you have a little color on there, just, just scoop up a bunch of that pink color or magenta color. And let's just put that magenta right here. And I kind of overlap again what I did before, just kind of overlap that other band that I did. So it blends a little bit. So you should be blending. And it's okay if it's streaky with color, that's good. I want to say, if you make a mistake, and maybe you get blue in here accidentally, you might have had blue on your brush or something crazy happened, that's okay. You just take your take a hair dryer, dry it, and then you'll paint white over it, dry that again, and then you can put color back over it. So if your assistant wants to help you with that, basically dry it, paint white over what you don't like, dry it again, and then you could start painting the color that you really wanted. Okay, so now we have sand, water, and this nice sky that goes from yellow to orange to a magenta color. Now my paint is a little bit wet and I wanna dry it right now. Um, let's take the hair dryer and if this uh, would be a good time to pause and start to dry everybody's canvases because we're gonna put some other colors over this. Now that we're back from drying our canvases, let's do this. Let's put some, let's put a little bit of that sun in there. If you can see, there's like this white little half circle. It's like a little sun right here, right in the middle. It sits right over, right where the edge of the water meets the sky. And we're gonna put a little half circle here, but we're gonna use our little brush. So you don't need the big one anymore. Let's pull out the tiny brush. And that tiny brush, we're gonna make a little white circle here. We're gonna get white and I'll show you how I do it. And then we're gonna put a little bit of white lines in there that make it look like it's shiny water, like a little uh, white caps on there. Then we're gonna put a little foamy white water here where the water's crashing into the sand. And then we'll do, do some black in here and make the black palm trees. But right now let's do the sun. So. Let's get our little brush and dip it into the white. If you need more white, just ask your, um, your helper there to get you some more white. So I'm going to find some clean white here and I'm gonna put some white on my brush, just like that. 
right on the tip there. And I'm going to make a, a half. I know it's hard to see from there. I'm going to paint just a half circle. It's a sun, the sun is setting. Then after you do that, and if you need to pause right now, you can pause, make sure everybody has their half circle in right. And let's make, now that you have your oops, half circle in, I'm going to get a little more paint on the tip of my brush, a little more white. I had to get a little more white on my brush. And let's go back and forth just real nice and easy. That makes it look like the sun while it's setting, it's still shining down on the water. So you have these reflections and it's just, you could put a couple out here too, if you want a little bit, but mainly right underneath that sun as it's setting. So you just make little marks back and forth, back and forth. Then I want the water crashing onto the sand. So you have fun with that, just kind of dab on some white paint there. I'm gonna dab on some white. So it looks like it's starting to all foam up. And just have fun with that. Just kind of dab a bunch of paint there. Just some white paint. And if you need to stop and catch up, have everybody catch up, this would be a good time to pause. Okay, now that we have our sun and our little highlights in here and our foamy water that with the waves crashing, let's wipe, let's uh, rinse that brush out. One last, one last time, we're gonna rinse the brush out. Dry it off really good, okay? Now we're going to dip it into the black. All right, so now I have black on the tip of my brush and I'm gonna make these little mountains right here on the sides. And I'll get real close, get the canvas close so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna make a mountain on this side and a mountain on this side, so on either side of the sun. And you can make a line right here on one side. If you want, make another line right here. These are the bottom, it's the bottom of the mountain on both sides. Okay. And if you need to stop, make sure everybody has a, a line there where their mountain is going to start. Make sure everybody's at that point. Now what I'm going to do is just take this edge here. It's closest to the sun, this one, and I'm just going to make a little wiggly line on each side. Just make start here and it goes up like a mountain with a wiggly line. And you just fill that, that shape that we just made, just fill it in with black. Everyone's mountain is gonna look different and that's all right. Now we have mountains on either side of the sun. And if you wanna pause now and get everybody caught up, that'd be a good time to do it. Okay, so now we're gonna put in our palm trees and you see how there's a stick on each side. It's the trunk of the palm tree. And they kind of almost look like they're starting to meet, kind of, kind of uh, angling together reaching out for each other. So I'm gonna start my one palm tree all the way down here on the corner of the page, right at the end of the mountain here. And I'm gonna bring my line, which is my trunk, almost to the sun. That's a good place to, like in the middle there where you see the sun is here. Bring your, bring your trunk all the way to about half of the page, about where the middle of the sun is there. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you want to do it on the other <coughs> on the other side. Start here, right where 
the edge of the mountain is, right on the side of your canvas, and bring it up. Like, so now you have almost like a teepee. You have two lines that are angled this way. And if you need to pause, you can pause. Okay, now we're gonna put the palm leaves on. Now they kind of look like spiders. So I, I made about, see, one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. I made six little arms coming out and I always start right here where the, where the palm leaf would start growing out, right at the tip. I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. It's kind of look like a spider. And I just kind of, kind of flick it out with my brush, kind of flick down. Now I'm going to make another one here. And these guys kind of overlap a bit and that's okay. I'm going to make six arms. I'm going to call these little arms, arms. I'll do it over here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, where should I put the other one? Let's go six. So there's six arms. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll let you get caught up on that. So you want to pause. Okay, now that you've completed the arms, we're going to put little palm leaves on them. So I'll show you what the finished one looks like. So what I was doing was just coming off of the little arms I made, making little lines, just making little lines that come down. So from the little arms that I made, I'm calling these little arms, I'm going to start about right in here on one of the arms and just keep flicking down, flick, 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 flick. See, I'm flicking down because the palms the palm leaves are hanging down. So I, I do it on this side too. Flick, flick, flick. So you're making like, almost like the little hairy arms. And like this one, I just flick, flick, flick. Flick, 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 flick. Like that. You can go, let them go in different, a different direction there. And I kind of just kind of flick. Can I see the direction I'm going with my brush? And here I'm going to do this arm flick, flick, flick. I'm just flicking down from the arm. I'm touching the arm and going down, touching the arm, going down. I touch the arm and I go down. And I kind of kind of curve it down. Kind of make these little wispy, almost like wings on a bird. And I'm just flick, flick. Look, I only do one side of the arm. If you noticed, I'm just kind of doing, picking a direction to go and flicking down on one side of the arm. I'm not doing both sides. Just doing like, if that's the arm, I'm only flicking on one side. See, there's the arm. I'm only flicking down on one side. And that should be your tropical painting. And I hope you guys enjoyed doing this. It kind of gets me in the warm summer mood. And I can't wait. Hopefully, you, um, your assistants can take pictures of what you've done and, and send them to me and email them to me, maybe. Um, so can't wait to work together again. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Stay safe. Love you guys. Bye-bye.